introduction. Come Rahul, let's play a game. Which game we are going to play? We are going to play a game in which we will look at each other without blinking our eyes. Who will blink eye at first will be loser. Ruchika, I am sure that I will win. Wow, you are so confident. Okay, Rahul, do you know that there is movement in our body even when we are sitting or lying on the bed? Hmm, I don't know, Ruchika. Hey, look at the earthworm in the soil. How does it creep? Okay, Rahul, so before playing this game, let me tell you some interesting things about body movement. Children, in this lesson, we will learn about body movement and difference between movement and locomotion. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define movement and locomotion Learn about the human body and its movement Identify various types of joints Identify various muscles and their function. Identify movements in various animals. Identify the streamlined body. Body movement. Hey, look at the earthworm in the soil. How does it creep? Yes, as we walk or run, these earthworms creep or crawl. Birds fly, fish swims, snakes slithers. Other than these movements, we can also see that we move various parts of our body. Like when we pick up a book, we move our hand. The movement is the change in position, while locomotion is the change of body from one place to another. The human body and its movement. As we already know that the shape of our body is due to the presence of bones, cartilage and muscles. And there are 206 bones in human body. The framework of all the bones in the human body is known as skeleton. It consists of the skull, hand bone, shoulder bone, rib cage, pelvic bone, backbone, leg bone and cartilage. Most of the bones protect our organs like the skull protects the brain, while the rib cage protects the lungs, heart, stomach, abdomen and liver. The backbone runs from the top of the skeleton to the bottom of the skeleton. It is connected to all the bones. And the pelvic bone protects the lower abdominal organs such as the urinary bladder, rectum and uterus. Types of joints We have just studied about the bones. Now, it's time to know the joints. The point at which two separate bones meet is called a joint. There are four types of joints in the human body. They are ball and socket joint, hinge joint, pivotal joint and fixed joint. Before going to learn about each joint in detail, let's have an activity. Ball and socket joint. In ball and socket joint, one end of a bone is rounded and ball-like and fits into a cup-like depression of the other bone. It provides movement in any direction. Shoulder joints and hip joints are examples of ball and socket joint. In the shoulder joint, the head of the humerus fits into a socket of the shoulder griddle and thus helps in arm swing. In the hip joint, the large ball-like head of the femur fits into the deep socket of the hip griddle. Pivotal joint In this type of joint, one bone rotates over a pivot-like end of the other bone. It's like the skull rotates on the upper end of the backbone. Hinge joints This joint moves like a hinge in one plane only just like the hinge of a door. The elbow joint between the humerus and the ulna. The joints between the bones of the fingers and toes and less perfectly the knee joint are the hinge joints. Hinge joints usually give sufficient power 
because there is less danger of twisting at the joint. Fixed joints. In this joint, no movement is possible between the two bones. The sutures between the bones and the skull are an example of fixed joint. Self-assessment. Match the following joint to their types of joints. Cartilage. Cartilage is a soft bone tissue that connects joints. It is present in external parts like the ear and nose, muscles and their functions. A band or bundle of fibrous tissue in a human or animal body that has the ability to contract, producing movement in or maintaining the position of parts of the body are known as muscles. The movement of body is controlled by alternate contractions and relaxations of two sets of muscles. Movement in earthworm Earthworms move easily on hard and slippery surfaces. Earthworms have tiny, stiff hair-like projections called bristles under their body. They grab the soil with the help of these bristles. Earthworms first stretch and then contract their muscles to move. As a result, they cover only a small distance with every move. A slimy substance secreted by the earthworm helps it to move. Movement in snail The outer skeleton of the snail, the shell, is made of calcium carbonate. The snail pulls this shell along as it moves. The snail can even hide its head inside the shell. The strong muscular foot below the shell can protrude. The undersurface of the muscular foot is lubricated with mucus. Waves of muscular contractions along this surface help a snail move. The mucus also reduces the risk of injury from sharp objects. That is why snail can walk over sharp objects like blades without getting hurt. Movement in Cockroach The cockroach has three pairs of legs that help it to walk and two pairs of wings that help it to fly. A cockroach moves its legs with the help of muscles near the limbs. It uses its breast muscles help to move its wings and fly. A cockroach can walk, fly and even climb. A cockroach can move in different terrains like sand and wired meshes because of the spines on its legs. Movement in Bird A bird has a body best suited for flying. Its wings are actually modified forelimbs. Birds can fly easily with the help of these bony forelimbs. Birds have light and hollow bones. The breast bones hold the muscles of flight that help them to flutter their wings. The tail controls the direction of flight. Birds have very strong shoulder bones. They don't have the urinary bladder, which helps them to fly easily. They can walk and perch on trees with the help of their hind limbs. Streamlined body The shape of many objects moving through air or water is designed in such a way that friction can be reduced between the objects and water or air. The shape of the body is called streamlined body. Movement in fish Fish have a streamlined body which helps them move fast in water. Fish swim with the help of their fins. The tail moves from side to side and helps the fish swim in the right direction. Some fish, however, move by bending their bodies from one side to another in quick succession, which produces a thrust that helps it move forward. Movement in Snake Snakes move in S-shaped loops and in a zigzag manner. They cannot move in a straight line. They have difficulty in moving on very smooth surfaces. Snakes have a long backbone and many interconnected muscles that help them to slither. Snakes can move in grass, sand and water. Snakes do not have arms or legs, but even then they can climb trees. Self-assessment. Match the different types of movements to the appropriate organism. Summary.
let us summarize what we have learnt. There is always movement in body even when a person is sitting or lying down. Human body is made up of bones and cartilages which provide shape to the body and protects inner organs. There are various kinds of bone joints depending on the nature of joints and direction of movement they allow. The movement of body is controlled by alternate contractions and relaxations of two sets of muscles. Earthworms move by alternate extensions and contractions of the body using muscles. Snails move with the help of a muscular foot. Snakes slither on the ground by looping sideways. The body and legs of cockroaches have hard coverings forming an outer skeleton. Fish swim by forming loops alternatively on two sides of the body. The birds are able to fly with the help of strong muscles and light bones.